morning. I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to finally share my sketching process with you. Since it's probably the most requested video idea, first I'm going to show how I sketch straight from a reference for practice. Then I'll show how I built up my references for finished paintings and then the sketching process for that from start to finish. But before I get started, I just wanted to say how important it is to practice and to do studies for sketching. It's so, so, so much easier to draw something when you know how it works. If you want to draw portraits, I recommend not only setting the anatomy of the face, but also the neck and shoulders. I promise it will help so much. Even studying things unrelated to people can help your understanding of shadows and shape. If you think you're lacking in your knowledge of facial structures and anatomy, I'm going to share a few Skillshare classes down in the description that can help you learn to break down the face. And also a really great class on drawing and proportion by Emily Armstrong. If you can break down your subjects, you can draw anything. So I really want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a online learning community with over 25,000 classes covering drawing, design, business, and more. Skillshare is the perfect place to learn. Whether you want to get inspired or grow your career or just find new ways to be creative. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and your goals. Skillshare is super affordable at less than $10 a month on the annual subscription. And Skillshare is very kindly offering you guys two months of free premium access to the first 500 people who use the link in the description. So you guys can join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. The first way I'm going to show you uses a quick grid. I'm not normally worried about getting everything perfect in my sketches, so I try to do these little sketches as quick as possible, just trying to get the, the main shape there. I also start out pretty light, so I darken the video up a little bit so it will actually show up on camera. I'm just using a HB sketching pencil and a regular mechanical pencil. Normally I would prefer to use something like a 2H, but most of my sketching pencils are getting too short to use, even with extenders. I'm also working off of references. I found these on Pinterest and I'll be sure to put all the links down in the description for you so you can check them out if you'd like to. After drawing out the quick grid, I'm going to start blocking in the basic shapes using the grid to measure proportions and then I can place everything in the right spot. Then once the big shapes are all in, I'll start marking down where the features belong, again using my grid to help me place them properly. Normally I wouldn't actually draw the grid, I'd just imagine where it'd be. But for things I'm not really well practiced in, like drawing boys, I'll actually draw it. Then after everything is in the right spot, you can start to clean everything up by darkening the outlines and adding in details. My sketches like this are really rough and dirty, but that's okay, they get the point across. Next I'm going to show you the same process again, only this time I won't draw the grids and I'll just use my eye to judge the placement. Sometimes I get things wrong and end up moving things around. Like on this one, I moved the top line of my rectangle down because I drew the head too low. I also have to move the shoulder up because I placed it too far away from the face originally. This process is mainly just putting shapes down and then adjusting them and carving them down into people shapes. Details can be added with scribbles and shadings most of the time, like on faces where there aren't a lot of hard lines.
Next, I'm going to apply the same method to a non-portrait thing like this ear. I start with kind of a slanted oval, then start with placing the helix, which cuts into the ear and goes all the way around to the lobe. From there, I can carve out the tragus and then move up to the little Y shape you see in ears a lot. And then finish the whole thing up by adding the lobe. Just from that, you can see that this is an ear and everything is pretty much in the right spot. So after this, I'll pretty much just work on cleaning it up, adding some quick shadings and darkening lines. This is a really great and quick way to do studies. You could do a couple from different angles and learn how to place anatomy until you can draw an ear without reference. Next, I'm going to show how I build my references for paintings. I normally use a combination of three or four pictures or even sketches from my sketchbook to kind of like Frankenstein together. I just drop them all into Medibang Paint Pro, which is a free drawing program, and then just mess with them until I kind of get what I'm looking for. And as you can see, I don't really worry about it being perfect. I'll clean it all up in the sketching process. It just needs to mostly make sense. After that, I'll do another quick thumbnail sketch using my reference. After all of that, I will do one more final digital sketch. I actually normally sketch with this like terrible neon blue color, but I desaturated the video to save your guys' eyeballs. I tried to do this real quick using my little sketch for reference and then using my Frankenstein photo reference to get all the facial features and details right. I'm happy with the shape I'll add a black clipping layer to that just to make all the sketch lines black and then on its own layer I will redraw the whole thing but fix any proportional mistakes and adding more detail on this I ended up moving the eyes slightly apart and then I made the hair a little bit bigger and definitely messier then the last step is just to print it out and transfer it over to watercolor paper and it's ready to paint. So that's my sketching process. I know it's a little weird and definitely time consuming, but I really like how my sketches evolve with each little step. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure to check out that link in the description for the two months of free premium access to Skillshare and I will see you soon for the next video. Bye!